My head is in the clouds. Storage. Get this out of here. Oh. Okay, that's much better. So what the hell is this cloud storage thing anyway? In a nutshell, it's a way to store all of your files up on the internet on a secure server, which they consider the cloud. You can also share those same files amongst a whole lot of devices. Traveling as much as I do, I need to be able to store all these pictures in one place and be able to access them from either my tablet, my laptop, or my cell phone. Because I want to make sure I have all my pretty pictures and my spreadsheets and all of my notes and my documents and everything I need for whatever tour or trip that I'm going on. I've done a lot of research on this and here are the five services I looked at. SkyDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, Copy, and SugarSync. Here's what I found. Almost all of them are going to give you free storage, but of course all of them will let you purchase copious amounts of extra storage. But which one is the best? Here's the breakdown as far as free goes. Dropbox will give you 2 gigabytes for free. Google will give you 15 gigabytes for free. Copy gives you 15 gigabytes for free. SkyDrive gives you 25 gigabytes for free. And SugarDrive gives you a free trial for the first 60 days at 60 gigabytes. A couple of notes about this. Google Drive will let you use as many Google documents as you can without using any of that allotted storage. Dropbox has a deal with Samsung and probably some other companies that will give you an extra 48 gigabytes for free for two years. Copy will let you earn extra free gigabytes for referrals, five gigabytes for every person. It is hard to declare a winner for this, but I think that SkyDrive ekes out just a little bit on the totally free 25 gigabytes of storage. But what if you need more storage beyond what they give you for free? Well, of course, they're all going to sell you some more storage. So here are their prices. SkyDrive charges for additional storage on top of your initial 25 gigabytes. So they give you an additional 50 gigabytes, which is a total of 75 gigabytes for $25 a year, which works out to be about just over $2 a month. Google Drive gives you 100 total gigabytes for $4.99 a month. Dropbox gives you 100 gigabytes for $8.25 a month. Copy gives you 250 gigabytes for $9.99 a month, or you can have an annual plan of $99.99 a month. SugarSync, for their 60 gigabytes, they give you $7.49 a month or $74.99 a year. So let's look at this per gigabyte per month. SkyDrive turns out to be about three cents per gigabyte per month. Copy is about four cents per gigabyte per month, or if you go on their annual plan, it's three cents per gigabyte per month. Google is about five cents per gigabyte per month. Dropbox turns out to be about eight cents per gigabyte per month. Sugar Drive, 12 cents per gigabyte per month. And if you go on the annual plan, it's 10 cents per gigabyte per month. So on price, SkyDrive ekes out again a little bit. But wait, there's more. You're going to be using these on all kinds of different devices. So which devices do they all support? Well, all of them support Windows, iOS, Mac, and Android. But Dropbox and Copy also support Linux. They have a little bit of an advantage there. Admittedly, it's not a big advantage, but for some people, that is an advantage. Now, each service does try to have its own perks. With SkyDrive, well, of course, it works completely seamless on all Windows devices. It looks like it's part of the system. And it also works extremely well with Office 365. Google Drive is seamless, of course, on Android devices, and it's seamless on Windows. Dropbox is hugely popular, and it does integrate well with just about everything. Copy, they like to give away the free gigabytes. SugarSync, well, I had trouble finding anything good about SugarSync. I have used all of these for several years. Well, except for Dropbox, I've only had that for about a few weeks. But I do like Dropbox. I've had SugarSync probably the longest, but recently they decided to get away from their free service and start charging you. They give you that 60-day free trial, but then you have to pay, and everybody else gives you free stuff, so... Eh. Now, I will still continue to use the rest of them, but there's one that I'm going to use more and more. Can you guess which one that is? 
Even though SkyDrive seems to have a lot more of the advantages, Microsoft is becoming lower and lower on my list of companies I want to rely on. My number four pick is Dropbox. They don't give me enough startup space. Yes, they do have that extra 48 gigabytes, but that expires in two years. I don't want expiring space. Number three is Google Drive. I like it, but there are a couple more that are a little less expensive. Something I don't like about Google Drive is that you have to have a Gmail account just to use it. But what I like about Google Drive is that it automatically comes with every Gmail account. Number two is SkyDrive, mostly because of price and it is pretty flexible. So my number one pick is Copy, mostly because I can get a lot of extra free space with all those referrals and it'll work on a Linux machine if I ever decide to go that way, so it's future-proof for me. Yes, I know, Dropbox has a free service, but they only give you 500 megabytes per referral and it's a 16 gigabyte max. Copy, five gigabytes per referral and there's no max. And yes, you can earn an extra five gigabytes right now if you follow this link to copy. That will give you a total of 20 gigabytes for free right off the bat. No, copy is not sponsoring me. In fact, nobody is sponsoring me for this video. This is 100% my opinion. In fact, if you just want to store images, you can use Flickr. They have a one terabyte of data. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you are informed enough to make a decision on your own on what cloud service would be best for you. If you want to get more travel related content and reviews, subscribe to our channel. It's free. Help us grow our community of awesome and curious travelers. And here's all you have to do. Liking this video. Leaving a comment telling us what your favorite cloud storage is or ask a question about anything in this video. And of course, sharing this video with all of your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, safe travels!